Morning YouTube, today's video we are going to be discussing the finer details on the JPK 500. We are two weeks out now, uh, the 2nd of October, we're going to try and go to John O'Groats and back, so that'll be uh, an interesting weekend. Um, also, I'm going to try and get the Roadrunner ready, um, as some of you may have seen in the previous video that the fan belt, even though I managed to get it back from Stockport after it was fixed, um, it threw the, <laughs> the fan belt off, so I've got to repair that uh, for tonight because it's Mexican Monday, so I want to take that out tonight. Uh, and also, I need to post off the letter that I've managed to get from the, the police regarding some sort of driving without due care and attention or something like that, so I need to get that sorted today. So, um, yeah, there'll be a little bit going on today, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned. So through the post, I managed to get a letter for, uh, what was it, driving without due care and reasonable attention. This was when we went to Blackburn on the Extreme BHP uh, meet, so I'll have to let you know how this all turns out, but I'm going to send it away today and see what comes of it. Uh, for something to do with idiotic driving, so let this be a lesson to everybody, please drive careful, you will get caught. Right, so I'm going to go post this now, but before that I need to go and have a healthy breakfast. Breakfast done. Okay, so a quick update on the JPK 500, which is happening in two weeks' time on the 2nd of October. The uh, My car is not changing, that's just how it is, that's more just going to go for it, and that's it. Uh, Axel with the Mini, he struggled to get a logbook now for the Mini, so he's not able to taxi, not able to insure it, so he is also looking to replace the Mini or try and sort something out to get the to get another car or whatever, I don't know, but he's only got two weeks to sort it out. Um, as far as I'm understanding, Maz has um, just stuck with his car, he's just doing a few little bits of repairs on his. Um, Dad is still looking, apparently he's seen one that he's got his eye on, so he's going to let me know in the next couple of days. Um, so, at the minute, it's definitely me and Maz, Axel struggling and my dad's looking, so yeah, I'm definitely going. So if no one else comes with me, it'll just be me on my own, so... I'm not bothered. So yeah, that's sort of the only really updates we've got um, on the JPK 500. Um, I know it's people have been asking me when's it happening and you know what's the update, but there's not really much to report. It's just we've maybe started a little bit too early, <laughs> so everyone's sort of like getting a bit anxious on oh what's happening next, what's happening next. But it is happening. So just give us two more weeks, and like I say, there'll be more updates, and I'll let you know what's happening. There'll be more videos uh, around that. So. Uh, that's all there is really to report on that. Right, so now we've got the road running the unit. Let's uh, have a look what we're dealing with here. So the belt come off. So it's taken me a while to get it in here because there's no power steering. So I'm gonna put it on, get it all adjusted up. Um, this is, should only be a five minute job. Nothing's difficult here. It's like one adjuster and it goes around the alternator, the pump and the, the crank down there. It's quite a steady job. So let's get this done, ready for tonight. So just put it on, now I'm going to just uh, finish off by tying it up and make sure it's not going to foul anything. 
So the adjuster's just there by the power steering pump. I'll push it out, turn it all, and we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Normally after a couple of runs, it normally gets a little bit baggy, so just keep an eye on it and just keep taking the slack out as and when. But it's one of these things with these old cars, you've got to do more maintenance than, well, any car that I've ever had in my life put together. Right, so we've just put that up, we've just tightened everything up, um, so it's pretty tight. Uh, again, I'm just going to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't uh, move anywhere as it gets warmer and starts stretching. So, um, so yeah, we're all ready for Monday. So all that's left now is to give it a quick clean over. Uh, I've got a few stickers I want to put on uh, and a few little, little bits and bobs. But yeah, she's ready to go now, so I uh, can't wait. So we'll uh, continue this a little bit later on after I've uh, set off for uh, Mexico. Okay, Betty is now cleaned, washed off, uh, all oils, fluids checked, flags attached. Ready for Mexico tonight, so uh, it's time to make his way back home. I've got a few more bits and bobs to do before tonight. so it's the morning after Mexico uh, we did a couple of runs in the Roadrunner what a night it's just the most unreliable car I've ever owned in my life uh, first off the fan belt come off so we put that back on then the HT lead um, off the coil pack jumped off for whatever reason so we had to put that back on um, then the fan belt jumped off again then I found out that the crank pulley was actually not tightened up so because that was wobbling that was what was flowing the belt off so that was another thing I had to sort out. And then I've just brought it home, the fan belt's thrown itself off again because the crank um, <laughs> pulley wasn't right. Then I've just gone on there, put everything back together, tightened it all up, started it up and the power steaming pump just fucking exploded. So yeah, honestly she just doesn't, just doesn't want to go, just doesn't. So, I don't know if you can see, but there is literally hydraulic oil, power steering oil, everywhere. So, unfortunately at this particular moment in time now, she's going to have to just get parked up and left for a few days because I've got too much on to be stripping everything down and working out what's wrong with her. So, uh, we've still got other cars. We've got the VXR and the Evo. We'll be back soon for Mexico, so that shouldn't be a problem. But. God, what an unreliable bastard she's turning out to be. But on the plus side, um, the runs that she did manage to do, I think she did about four or five uh, in the end. And yeah, we went against first uh, an RS3, which yeah, there's just no chance the grip and one of them have got compared to this. Um, at the end of the day, it's just a, it's a road. It's not trap prepped or anything. It's just a road. So it left me for dead. Um, but then the other couple of races we had uh, against a uh, MX-5 and a Astra VXR, uh, Aaron's. Um, yeah, she, she won, pulled a good car length on. Uh, when she's going, she's really, really good, but she's just like, I know she's 50 years old, but fucking hell, man, just be a bit more reliable. I'd like to do more than like 30 miles before it breaks down. But yeah, so the plan is to park it up. We'll sort it out another day when all my container and my unit and my log, uh, log cabins all built and everything sorted. Then I can um, mess with her and just get her all ready. Uh, could end up being a winter project. This might have taken her out for the rest of the season. So we'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. So like, subscribe, comment below, all the usual stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video.